back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing two wig unboxing videos from Amazon. Yes, I'm really excited because I ordered these like a week or so ago from Amazon and I really want to see how they look, the comparison of the price from Amazon and just overall how the wig look. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right guys, so like I said in the beginning, I bought two wigs from Amazon from two different price points and I kind of wanted to test this out to see what was the difference between the two wigs and I am going to post pictures and prices of both of the wigs so that you can keep up with which one is which um, because I kind of forgot what the price of what the price was for both wigs so I'm going to try my best to remember but I know which one is the most expensive and which one is the least expensive and I'm going to be wearing my glasses today because your girl still hasn't ordered contacts yet so yeah so let's go ahead and put on those bifocals so we can see what's going on let's go ahead and get into these wigs so the first one is the least expensive wig as you can see it comes in like a bag packaging this is my second time ordering one of these inexpensive synthetic hair wigs from Amazon. I actually posted a picture on Instagram of me wearing one of these synthetic wigs from Instagram. It looked really cute on photos, but in person, it was not that great because it was really shiny. So I'm hoping that this one is not that shiny. This one's called Haleen Curly Wigs and Glues Wig Half Hand Tied 20 Inch. I have no idea, but the name of the company is called Haleen Wigs. So that's the company and it comes in this little zippy bag here. So let's open it and see what we have. Okay, so the first thing is some lashes, my other inexpensive wig from Amazon. So my other wig did come with these kind of inexpensive false looking lashes that no one's probably gonna really wear, let's just be honest. Um, unless you're just really playing around with lashes for the first time. So they came with these and it comes with a when a wig when a new wig if you share an unbiased product review on amazon you can win a new wig by doing a review that's so cool so that card came in here is the wig oh she's super long i think she's longer than the one i have on currently and it's really really dark and this wig is synthetic so it's not real hair so I do not recommend bleaching or flat ironing or anything with heat. It has a good little density to her and she's really full and she has a nice deep wave even to the ends here and she's a nice deep dark color. Um, I would say jet black because the hair that I have on is like a 1B and this is darker. It is full lace here and then it has the tracks here with the combs and the elastic. She does seem to have some baby hairs in the front and she looks like she's a little plucked. Um, obviously the knots are not bleached but the lace is fairly soft for her to be synthetic or a human synthetic blend. So I'm really interested to see how she turns out um, on. I am just going to color or tint the lace with some foundation because she's synthetic and cut the lace and then we'll try her on. So let's open the second. So here's the second wig here. It's from Jessica Hair and it comes in a cute black box like the other one came in a bag and this one came in a box. So you can definitely tell in the packaging is a bit different. This one was about I remember this one was like 60 about $60 and this one was like 20 something I think but I know this one was closer to $60 so this one comes everything comes in well the wig comes inside this bag here but inside we have huh, some Huda Beauty lashes now this may be old packaging because Huda I don't know however y'all say that brand name I think their packaging for their lashes are a bit different unless I'm mistaken but it comes with lashes, yeah. And these are the lashes, ooh. These are cute. These are really cute. They're really simple, but they're cute. And they're full. So these come with some, some decent pair of lashes. They're called Giselle. That's the name of these lashes. Okay, so we're gonna put Giselle over here. Then it comes with a nice little stocking wig cap. But this is the wig cap with the holes and it tells you how to use the wig cap. 
So I don't really use these, so I may give this one away to like my mom or something. I think she used these, I'm not sure. That's a good little added bonus. This is These wig caps are for like first time wig users. Or when you go to the wig store and you're trying on wigs, that's what they give you. Then it comes with a how to care for your wig and a thank you card and everything in between, so. Okay, girl. And this name of this wig is called, um, it's just a 13 inch, a 13 by six lace front wig. So this is actually a lace front human hair wig. It's really short. Ooh, and she has like this cute tag on her. And it's important on how to, before checking anything is okay, to not break. So you wanna make sure you check the lace, but I've been having this for a while and I totally forgot to, uh-oh. Okay, so I just took the thing off and there's a big chunk of like hair that came out with the net. I'm hoping that's just like something extra and not the wig per se. So I'm gonna check it. The full, oh, this is nice. So as you can see, all the way here is lace. Then the tracks are like back there. Then you have the combs, it's super soft. And look at the curl pattern. Ooh, I'm really excited. And she also has baby hair. She has some baby hairs. Um, she looks a little plucked. She looks a little plucked on the sides, you know, like her little, they, I'm trying to show y'all, but the way my hand's set up. They look a little plucked. She's really soft and it's short. It's super cute. Oh my God, I'm excited. Okay, so let me take this unit off and I guess we'll start with the least expensive one and then we'll move up to the expensive one y'all don't know i haven't bought a new wig in so long look at me girl bald egghead so okay let's try her on this is the synthetic one i'm just going to i have a small head so i have to make these straps pretty tight because i have a little peanut head so i'm gonna go all the way to the end for both i don't want it to be too tight it has a weird smell now that I like flipped it on. Okay, hold on girl, hold on. I mean, it's gonna look weird cause the lace is on, but that's a lot of lace in the front, right? That's a lot of lace. Oh, she is, oh, she is full. She is here to slay. The thing I don't like, she is, she's kind of shiny, right? Like she's kind of shiny. Um, her forehead is t a little too defined. So like, as you can see, like, okay, so my camera had to cool down a little bit. So while it was cooling down, I took the liberty of taking the inexpensive wig and kind of tinting the lace a little bit with my foundation. Um, it didn't go all the way through because I'm just trying to see how, the, how it looks. And then I went ahead and cut the extremely amount of lace on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how the wig looks now. It's really loose though. Like the wig itself, I may have to cut some more here like cut around the ear because it's kind of big but it's also it's really loose i can make the straps a lot tighter but the front don't look that bad she's just really full like this is one of those wigs that's just like i would wear for like youtube and just special occasions but not like an everyday kind of wig but she's really really pretty though right Hold on, I'll take the glasses off. I wanna try to put layers in here, but I'm scared that because it's synthetic, it may like do something frizzy and weird because I'm cutting at it like like it's human. But this is really, cr this is pretty. Now this, I think if I can just cut just a smidget around my ear and then leave out like, you know, like little baby hairs. Probably able to put her up because she's full, like she goes all the way around there and it's not that bad and i think for or even just because you just want one and see how you look with like dark curly hair this is perfect and obviously if you have amazon prime baby it'll come within those like two days two or three days but i like this this is cute and this is just with me tinting the lace with my foundation and then just cutting the lace so i know once you kind of i wouldn't recommend plucking at this one too much because it is synthetic it could really affect the lace and it can also mess up the hair so if i was you i would be gentle with plucking but also just make some baby hairs and just rock it it's synthetic you could always buy a new one whenever it gets really old 
it's really cute um yeah so those are my recommendations on this one so let's go ahead and pop on the the real hair one and let's see how we can play with that one. Oh, so this one has lace in the back so i can also put this one up in a ponytail Ooh, this one's definitely worth the price i would take the combs out because i'm not a fan of the combs especially in the back because they tend to pull my hair in the back it's super short it's so cute. Hold on, let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm looking at. Glasses? Hold on. Oh wow, this is so cute. Now why would you need lace in the back? Because you can't really put it in a ponytail. Now you can do like half up and down. This is super cute. Okay, let's go ahead and tint it and cut the lace and then we'll see how it look after. So all I'm doing is taking foundation and just going into the lace and just going you know a little bit past the hairline as well because you got to cut the lace and you want it all to be blended and you do this before you actually cut the lace because you need to make sure you can grab it and hold on to it and everything oh my gosh this is so cute look how cute this is i'm gonna take this little brush here and just kind of comb off the curls So what do you guys think? This looks really cute and it looks so natural. Like it looks like natural hair. So this is cute for those days where you're trying to run an errand and you're still trying to look cute and you could, and you want to like look like a natural hairstyle. You can definitely pull this bad boy out. And I'm pretty sure if you wet it, it'll give you back those tight curls that I had before. But I actually really like this like this. This is kind of like how my hair is after I wash it and kind of twist it and dry it and comb it out except this one's a little bit more tamed and there's zero shedding it's so freaking soft and it's so like i can just pliable i can make it kind of molded to how i want the hair to be this is really really cute this is cute okay so i did bring my gel and my toothbrush there's baby hairs and like i said the hairline is already pre-plucked but if you're one of those girls who like really want to do your own hairline you should definitely do that but i'm kind of lazy when it comes to it unless i really feel like after a while it kind of looks just unnatural okay so let's get the eco styling gel i did not gel down the wig to my cap yet but i really want to see how this looks okay so then i'm gonna take the toothbrush these baby hairs are still too long, but I... <laughs> but look how cute this is. Okay guys, so this is the second wig. I am definitely feeling this one a lot more because it's more natural, it's soft, it feels so good. Because you guys know I love some weave, so I do love the super long one and it has this nice deep wave that's not super deep and it did look pretty good i know once i start playing around with the hairline a little bit and just plucking it and doing the baby hairs it's going to give me more of that natural front hairline but we all know with synthetic wigs um it's going to tell that it's synthetic because of the shine but if you don't mind the shine then you'll be fine and i definitely feel like it's worth buying away from amazon like i was really skeptical because on the pictures as you guys see on the pictures for both like you're thinking like there's no way that this wig is going to be cute for this price because you can go on a hair website and pay twice as much for a wig like this one even with the lace in the back so if you want to attempt to put this girl in a pon ponytail you are welcome to do so but it is twice as much on a on a wig or a hair website to buy a wig and this is definitely a good alternative to buy a wig from is amazon i was really skeptical i've seen other videos but i am a true amazon 
believer now when it comes to this hair so i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment down below if you try to wig off from amazon and let, leave the comment and show a picture of what your wig looked like after you kind of fixed it up so don't forget to like comment and share down below and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye guys okay guys you guys are already here so don't forget to click down below and subscribe and click that notification bell to get a notification when i post a new video and check out some of my latest videos like this one you see here